So at what point do the fans come into play here? Hey, what's up, nerd fam? It's your boy. Now, I want to talk to you today about a topic that I've covered before, and that's adaptation. Specifically, today we'll be talking about video game to movie adaptations, starting with the very new Halo series. Now, um, this is all really centered on, I watched a, a video a couple weeks ago by a guy named uh, Young Ripper. He was talking about a Variety article for which the creator or the showrunner of the Halo series was talking about their creative process when it came to creating the Halo series. And I saw that video and I wanted to make sure I read the actual article myself because he really just covered a particular part which we'll go over. But um, I wanted to read the entire article. And once I read the entire article, it was actually much worse than I thought it was. Now, originally in the Young River video, he's talking about how pretty much the creators said they did not take the games into account when making the Halo series. They did not talk about the games, which is very odd, seeing as how this is a series based on the game, right? Obviously, there were some novelizations, but the novelizations still stem from the Halo game, which is very strange. Now, after I read the article, I realized the problem was a bit deeper because this series has been in development for a really long time. And apparently there was more than one iteration of the um, series. There was like at one point a drama, then they felt like, at some point, this is literally what the guy says in the article, that the show was too close to the game. I'm not sure how that's a bad thing, especially because a lot of people seem to like this game. As a matter of fact, they spent a lot of time playing it and a lot of money into it. So you would think, a person would want to emulate that kind of success. Something that was pretty alarming to me was that they said they wanted to take the approach of the MCU, which if you know me, you understand that ugh, that's a, it's a really bad idea for me because they play very hard and fast with the source material and they put their creative license first over what the people who really support these licenses really want, um, which seems to be the same thing here. Now, this series has been out for a bit. I watched a couple episodes. I'm not a Halo expert. I'm not a huge fan, so this is not where I'm coming from, although I'm surrounded by a lot of them. The thing is, um, I'm not gonna really get over the accuracies and inaccuracies. There's tons of videos based on that, but there definitely seem to have been quite a few changes that were based on things that were more social and political versus storytelling right i mean even some weird things down to even the size of the spartans because i did read some of the novels because i thought the spartans were the most interesting part and to watch their whole you know genetic engineering and how they were like cloned and kind of like taken away from their parents like i thought that was pretty cool and the fact that they're like seven feet and how some of them have their own distinct personalities i really like that part but i'm not like a super expert on the games you know when it comes to the arbiter and the elite and stuff like that it was kind of weird how even in the show, like, they gave, like, the elite, like, a human avatar, which is not something that seems like they would do in the game, but whatever. My main point is their creative approach in contrast to some of the other video game adaptations that have come out very recently and have been much more successful by putting the fans and their characters first. The glaring example that I'm going to use here would be Sonic, right? Sonic, at, so at this point, Sonic has already been out for about a week or two. I haven't seen it yet. My editor has. I saw the first one. I didn't get a chance to see the second one yet. My schedule's been kind of busy. However, I know everything about the movie pretty much. And they're doing exactly what you're supposed to do. Sonic has a fan base. It has a certain set of story behind it. A lot of games. So there's so much to borrow from. Now, what I really like about this is the fact that obviously when the first Sonic came out, everyone didn't like how Sonic initially looked. And they could have just had a lot of pride and just kept it moving. But I think they understood that this was going to hit their bottom line, right? And these fans were pretty much willing to not go see the movie just based off of how this character looked. They switched it, put money into it, and the story remained largely the same, which means they still had fans in minds in terms of what where the movie was going to go, which is great to hear. And 
The first one offered quite a bit of fan service, added in some human characters that didn't take too much away from what was going on. It wasn't like Sam and Transformers. It was just there to provide some other exposition so like the, you know, the video game characters can bounce themselves off of. And in the second movie, uh, like, like I'm hearing, that it goes in a direction which is very similar, except they add a bit more story lore from the games, from Sonic X. And I can see that from the trailer. I can already see where it was going there. So I'm not, I can't give a review on a movie that I haven't necessarily seen for myself. But in terms of the tidbits that are going in, it seems they're going in the same direction. Funny enough, it's made by Paramount, the same people who are, you know, distributing uh, Halo. So it's funny, the same studio, but two different creative teams that have a vastly different view on how they want their film to be successful. One person is like, we want our creative vision to come first. What is our interpretation of the property? The other team is going, we know what people want. Let's try our best to filter what they want through our creative vision. Even what we're not making us first, we're putting them first, but we have to filter it in a way. And it looks like they've succeeded. Also, uh, there's, there's one more I can talk about. It was that um, Arcane series that are that was on Netflix, which obviously isn't exactly like League of Legends, but they use it to expand characters and actually get people excited about, you know, watching more. Because honestly, I'm not a League of Legends player, but that made me actually excited to see, like, are, are these characters in the game? Because if these characters are in the game, I might be interested in playing it. That was awesome. And that, this is beyond us, that movie uh, animation was just... It was, it was really, really good. It impressed me. The storyline was good. It wasn't, even though it was animated, it was not for kids because people were dying left and right. It was dark and it was easy to understand and digest. Perfect. Now, video game adaptations obviously have been, you know, out of all the adaptations, it's they've been hit the worst because I think people for some reason care the least. I don't know, but it doesn't have to be that way, right? All you have to do is go, What's going on with the property? What do fans like about said property? How do we capitalize on that versus, oh, this is what they want? Well, if I made this story, this is how I see Master Chief or this is how I see Sonic. I don't understand why that's a thing, but clearly there are varying levels of success and whether they choose to admit it or not, it, it's obviously irrelevant because numbers say everything, right? Let me know what you think. Um, I'm actually, I think I'm going to make a video about like the, like why fighting game adaptations don't, like haven't been working and which ones would be one of the better ones. You know, obviously we've seen what happened with Mortal Kombat recently, which was like a, another example of what were you thinking, right? But whatever, I don't want to add too much. Let me know what you think about this topic. Do you think that Halo is a great series? Did you see Sonic? If you did see Sonic, tell me how you, how you liked it. Cause I'm going to release a review as soon as I see that one. Let me know. Until then, enter the nerd. Yeah.